Hey everyone, it's Sand. So, the uh, Dao's banner has started, and uh, I'm really hoping I get the character, because I like the design a lot. And um, so far in all of the mobile games and games I've played where he shows up, uh, it's always fun to use him in some fashion, whether it was Star Ocean or... But yeah, uh, end of the day, I really want the character. So uh, I have some Gleam Stones, and we're just going to roll and see what happens. Now, it's interesting, because he's an EX Limited, his kit is really, really good, with a 42-hit Mystic Art and lots of other fun toys. Um, thankfully, he is at a 0.7% rate up, so there's a decent chance if there's an SSR that it's going to be him. So, let's, uh, let's get rolling. Hopefully, I don't get unrelated SSRs. So gold, we get a rainbow? No, we don't. We get just gold. Alright. Cool. I'm hoping one of these turn rainbow and it's him, but you never know. Cool. Any of these gonna go rainbow for me? That was a lot of gold though, I will say that. Cool. Cool. And the last character. Okay. More Rokuro. Okay. So, roll number two. Come on, give me a rainbow, please. Still no rainbow. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm mean, trying my best to play a lot of Crestoria, but like, I don't, I don't know. It's it's fun. There's lots to do, but I feel like the way that the events have been structured, it's really hard to also find time to ascend my characters. Because with the events up, people don't seem to really run normal raids as much, so. Okay, and that's that. All right. Oh, yeah. After my FGO rolls, I'm really not expecting much, you know. <laughs> that just more. Oh wow, that was a min roll. Oh my gosh. Wow, an actual min roll. That is true suffering. All right, do I even? Am I gonna get a single rainbow during? Okay, okay, there we go. So out of four rolls, one rainbow. I guess statistically, you know, that's actually pretty good because SSR rate is only five percent. So okay, who's here? Nice. Ah. Uh, Musette. Unfortunately, she's not playable yet. Okay, I think it's our rainbow next? No. <laughs> really just teasing that rainbow, eh? Yeah, the rainbow's gonna be last. Okay, who is it? Look at that. The last roll came through. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's awesome. Um, oh, and he's light element. I actually forgot to check that. Cool. Cool, cool. So now I have somebody to tag along with uh, Mila. All right. Nice. Well, that's that role in a nutshell. And with that, guys, uh, I really don't have... Oh, wait, I had one more role sitting there. Sweet, I have some leftovers. Yeah. Maybe I'll roll for Yuri. <laughs> Anyways, guys, with that, uh, I'm going to wrap up. I don't want to keep you around for any longer than I have to. Um, yeah, Tales of Crestoria. A lot of the bugs have been fixed. A lot of the, uh, I guess, problems people had on launch have been addressed. Um, but I think right now it's just kind of a pacing thing. Because it's, it's just like banners, 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 and events. 
and it's just from a launch perspective it's so fast but at least you know they've kind of tried to alleviate some of the um how to phrase it they tried to alleviate some of the issues that people had by putting a lot of the ascension mats into the exchange shop for the events and whatnot so that can help um and they do try to make gleam stones relatively available so there's definitely attempts. It's a lot like uh, I saw like Gunpla Warfare, and where the developers seem to actually be working on it. Um, but yeah, we'll see where the game goes. Hopefully, it, it stays going. Because, uh, like I said when I originally picked this up, I like Tales, and I hate seeing Tales games die. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, peace out, and I will see you in the next video.